it's necessary to, to, to totally do away with the traditional essay because I think that's a valuable mode of assessment and it's a valuable skill um, to, for students to learn, but it's not the only skill that students should learn when they're coming out of the university. that I use in my classes called Unessays. Unessays um, are basically um, a, an assessment where the, the format and the media are completely up to the student. Um, the question is set, but it's up to the student to decide how to communicate um, their argument and their thesis statement. So that could include um, something like a podcast, a, a poster project, a sculpture, um, a short film, um, I've had people make books, um, basically anything, um, any, what may, any way that they can communicate the argument um, is open with an on essay. Um, even an essay, they could, they could submit a traditional essay and that's allowed within the, the format. One of the things that on essays allow is um, the development of creative thinking um, and creative thinking is often overlooked in more traditional modes of assessment, but it's actually really useful because it represents um, actually higher level critical thinking. Um, it, it represents making connections between um, different forms, different ideas um, that sometimes, not always, get um, sidelined when students are concerned with um, formatting of their essays or um, whether or not their sentence structure is proper. Um, things like that can be kind of um, distracting from the actual aim of getting students to think critically about material. We have to talk about it quite a lot because when you first introduce it, they can be a bit uncomfortable um, because they are so used to essay exam, essay exam. Um, and so I usually reassure them that if they, if they really feel like they cannot possibly do something else, they can do an essay. And I'd say about a third of the class still opted for the essay version, which is fine. You know, if that's the medium that best expresses their argument, no problem. But usually um, I hold office hours and allow the students to come and talk to me about what they're thinking of and, and um, think through how um, their choice of media might um, either help or hinder their message. And usually once we've talked through a few options and um, I've helped them think through what it is they're actually saying in the way that they can communicate that, they feel a lot more comfortable um, sort of being more creative with that. Um, and the other aspect is that students are allowed to give me a blurb of, that explains their thinking behind it. So if they've just given me a sculpture, it's really difficult for me to say, okay, there's a thesis statement there. They're allowed to say, okay, this is why this sculpture has expressed this idea. So it's, it's, it's really a reflective process on um, not just producing some element, but also reflecting on the thinking that, that emerged um, from their research and, and finally produced something. But that's always the question that comes up because um, people have difficulty imagining how you like this, but because the unessays are bound by response um, to a certain question that I pose them, you can actually mark um, the unessays and the essays on exactly the same rubric. So um, argument and understanding, um, communication, and sources. Um, for the unessays, my students were required to use primary sources in whatever they produced, so whether that was quoting something from a biblical text or um, another ancient source for that material some other way that was that was counted whether they did an, an essay or an unessay. Um, the argument and understanding
understanding is reflected in the connections that they've made between the elements of their creative work um, and the communication and understanding, either um, if it's an, a real essay, would be, you know, how is the sentence structure, are the paragraphs formatted, um, do we have a, a proper concluding sentence, and, uh, you know, there's no spelling errors and things like that, whereas um, with an essay, it's more about whether the medium has actually helped communicate that message, whether there's care being shown um, in, in what they've produced. So the, the criteria are actually identical, it's just that they're reflected in different ways in, in each of the assessments. Because the core idea behind the NSA is the development of critical thinking, the feedback reflects that goal, that, that I want to see their thoughts, I want to see how they've thought through this, I want to see that they've made connections, I want to see that they've taken on board the research that they've done. Um, and so my feedback reflects that concern rather than whether their stick figure accurately represents John the Baptist, right? So in, in those um, terms, the, the feedback actually is very applicable to other areas because it focuses really on the thinking aspect of it rather than necessarily the communication aspect. Um, in other assessments, students will get feedback on improving their writing and there are services available at the university to improve your writing skills. Goal here is to, to focus on the other aspect of learning at the university, which is developing critical thinking. I I would say um, there's lots written on the on this kind of subject. Um, there's been a couple of um, journal articles on the on essay as well, and um, a bunch of blog blog posts by people try this out in their own classroom. So I would go through and see if it's um, a good fit for what you're trying to assess. And then the other thing that I would say is um, be open with your students about why you've chosen this type of assessment and make them involved in the pedagogical process so they can understand the benefits um, of this kind of assessment in terms of developing their own thinking um, and just show them that actually this is this is something that people have been researching and experimenting with and it has these benefits, these are the skills that you can gain from doing this kind of activity and just involving them in the, in the process of